All praise on and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rahaha Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles and my elders, a great millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, this is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston. All right, and a brother has shared this uh this news uh well this is news you know shared this video. All right, and this is here one is from uh ABC News. This is from a day ago. I want to read the uh, title. It says after enduring the drought. Farmers are struggling with the mouse plague, all right? After enduring one of the worst droughts in memory, farms and communities in western New South Wales, all right, this is over in Australia, all right, uh, are now enduring another natural disaster, millions of mice, all right? Pastors are now blooming again, but the abundant food supply has caused rodent numbers to explode. Okay, so let me see something. All right, that ain't nothing. Okay, so they getting uh hit with what they're calling a mouse plague. All right, and um, you can go watch the video. I ain't gonna play it. But um, there's a few uh, few videos on it, a few uh, reports on this particular uh, plague that's taking place in Australia and the damage it's caused. And in like this, the article, the title says they already uh, they just came through a drought, okay, and now they're struggling with this. All right, some farmers are having to burn up, you know. All their hay, all right. They, they they out in Australia is very. They call it the outback, all right. So, uh, most people get their water from wells, all right. And I'm I'm familiar with that being from the country, you know. Out here in Texas, we grew up on a farm. We actually had water wells. Okay, we didn't get our water from the city. We the water was the well was drilled in the ground, all right. So far. And uh, we had a water pump outside, or we either one that was hand pump, a hand pump, or we actually had a uh, electric uh, water pump. Okay, let me cut this out for a second. It's kind of loud. All right, but um, and what that was happening is because I can remember a few times when something had actually died. Okay, like maybe a frog had got into the well and died well the water was contaminated okay and we had to wait so long and um till that flushed out okay now imagine millions of mice okay and these mice are in everything they're in these people's homes okay they're in their mattresses in their attics in their uh pantries okay they're in their farms they've eaten the crops okay and this is exactly what the uh, the title says, a mouse plague, okay? And where you think this plague came from, all right? And is, since that word is up, let's go to the etymology online, all right? And uh, we're going to get the definition of plague, all right? Let's click on it. All right, plague. Affliction, calamity, all right, evil. Evil means bad time, all right. Eve, which is the time, okay, and ill meaning bad, okay. Scourge, severe trouble or vexation. You think these people ain't catching it? All right, malignant disease, all right, Um, which I'll say this. Rodents like that carry plagues. They carry uh, diseases, all right. They're a pest, okay? Let me keep going. It says, from the Latin plaga, affliction, slaughter, destruction, used in the Vulgate for pestilence, all right? Now, we also get that word pestilence, all right? Um, it ain't nothing good, okay? So, let's get pestilence also. 
piss. Uh, we got pestilences, but let's just get the word pestilence and see what that says. Any infectious or contagious disease, fatal epidemic, all right, from the old French pestilence, all right, plague, see, plague, all right. So these words are synonymous, all right. Now, do this, all right, and then uh, let's get a couple of scriptures, all right, because this is all being done because these are signs that the Heavenly Father is about to send his son, all right. Now, let's go first. First, let's visit uh, Second Esdras, all right. Let's go to Second Esdras, chapter 15. And I'm going to get straight to the point. You know what? Wait a minute. Let me see something. Yeah, I'm going to get straight to the point. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 15 and verse um, 5. It says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. Okay? So, here we are. This is one of those plagues. Because see here in 2nd uh, Ezra 15 and 4, is plagues plural meaning more than one all right that drought they had all right that was a plague okay it says upon the world the sword famine death and destruction okay for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled okay and um we're seeing that happen Okay, we're seeing the Heavenly Father bring plagues upon the world. All right, this is just one of many. Okay, I ain't going to even uh, mention nothing else. All right, um, probably should have cut that. That's all right, because this ain't, I'm just get one more precept. All right, and we'll close. We'll go to the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24. And verse, um, eh, we'll start at verse 6. This is St. Matthew 24 and 6. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You see? For nations shall rise against nation. Okay? The end is going to ultimately come. I mean, we're at the end, but it won't come. The third world's war won't happen until the microchip is fully implemented, okay? Then it's all downhill from there, all right? Um, where did I leave off? Uh, St. Matthew 24 and 7, it says, For nation shall rise against nation, then we're definitely seeing that on a large scale. Look at Taiwan, the U.S., China, okay, Russia, okay, just to name a few, okay, and these are so-called uh, superpowers, okay, they all at each other's throats right now, all right, and that's because we're at the end, all right, so it says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, all right, and there shall be famines, all right? When you watch this video, those farmers were talking about um, how much of their crops actually go into the main cities, all right, to feed those people. And they've nearly lost it all, okay? They were talking about the main street, okay? Hey, hey go watch it. Check, I mean, this is the video itself right here. All right, um, let me do that again from ABC News, ABC News Australia. All right, and just put in uh, or you can just put in a uh, mouse plague, okay, and all kind of videos are gonna come up, man. All right, um, so let me let me just go back to the scripture, Saint Matthew twenty four and seven. For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. Oh, that's what I was saying. 
that they supply the food, man. Okay, the crops that feed, cause it's it's very spread out. It's very rural. Okay. Um. Some people don't even their neighbors are miles away. Okay, we talking about thousands and thousands of acres of farms. You know, you know people living on on farms that got thousands of acres, man. Okay, that's a lot of land. Okay, which by the way was all stolen. All right, because you know how Esau do. All right, but um, so that that's gonna bring famines. All right, it says and pestilences, and we see what a pestilence is, and this is pestilences plural. Okay, and earthquakes in diverse places. All right, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All right. Because the most high is visiting the earth which ye made, man. We at the end. Okay? And this is just another uh, thing that was prophesied to happen. And now we're seeing it happen. You know, and it, again, this is just one of them. All right? There's so many going on and there's many more to come. All right? Before that great and dreadful day of the Lord. All right? So I'm going to end it right there, man. Uh, check the video out. And, uh, yeah, yeah, they catching it. <laughs> you know, the Most High is not playing, man. He's turning up the proverbial gas on, on the fire on this earth, man. Okay? Um, so with that, you know, Lord willing, it was edifying just some more uh, prophecy. All right? And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.